Hey YouTube, this is X Division Champ RDS of Team Duelist Republic here with a little, I guess, new little fe feature. I've s I have saw this one video on a card versus card thing, but this is going to be a different different one. I'm not going to use take his, his. I'm just going to do mine. Okay, first up we have. Solemn Judgment. Alright, when a monster would be summoned or a spell or trap card is activated, pay half your life once and negate the summoner. And summoner activation and destroy that card. This is used to be one of the, one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. You know, you don't see this around too much because of Solemn Warning, but most decks, if they run so, run some warnings, they still run one judgment. The other card I have is Divine Punishment. Activate only if you have Sanctuary in the Sky, so it's a very conditional card. Negates the activation of a spell, trap, or monster effect. Now, two, it does two of the exact same things as Judgment does. Lo, no life point cost, and it it can has a bonus of doing something judgment can't do though this cannot destroy monsters when they're summoned this does destroy anything that's activated including monster effects so that's where divine punishment gets a plus on the end. this is why I run divine punishment in my agent deck and you know I don't I don't see I don't look into any other people's builds I only look into my own and uh, I run three of these things and I like it just because the, everything you know but in my current Ori Cal Al Ori Calcos agent build I'm not gonna have my uh, divine punishment activatable at all times which is why we have the solemn judgment anyways this card they're both counter trap cards, so the only thing that can negate them is counter trap cards. And. Or Emkel 40's broken ass Seal of Thank you. Thank you. Anyways. The fact of the matter is Divine Punishment, it's artwork. Let's just look at the artwork. Okay, you got the sanctuary in the sky and red lightning striking the earth. This is like there's uh, reminds me of a lot of uh, of uh, Cherubimon's lightning based attacks just coming down from the sky. This is like a strike of God, if you will, hence divine punishment, which I'm surprised how that kept its name. I'm not even sure this is the original name of the card, really, when you really look at things. But I can't wait to see this thing go up in value. Not value, but rarity. I can't wait to see this in secret rare format, because secret rare cards just look awesome. Solemn Judgment, you, you, you always have the old man and two women behind him. Because he keeps his pimp hands strong. You know. And you know... The effect of Solemn Judgment should just be no. Anyways, between the two of them, I prefer using my Judgment most, but Divine Punishment has helped me out a lot more. When Judgment finally goes back up to two, or when Solemn Warning goes down to one, you're going to see which card is better between those two. Because... Paying 2,000 life points, so there are going to be occasions where you're not going to have 2,000 life points, but you're always going to have half of something. Half of, half of, half of something is never nothing. Remember that. Anyways, but between these two cards, I prefer my judgment. I like my judgment, but I do, do prefer this. This is what I'm saying. Very bipolar video. Word of the day. Bye. Polar. Anyways, see you YouTube.